This is the last obstacle, if you like, to electrification from Glasgow right through to Perth. It means that uh, the bridges which all have to be raised have all been done except for this bridge. This will be the last one. It doesn't mean to say electrification is happening right away, that will take some time to happen. But this means that there will be no obstacle to putting in the electrification works because of the height of the bridge. Over Christmas and New Year we removed the old tunnel and replaced that with new concrete units. Um, prior to that we stopped up the, the canal and we're pumping from one side of the canal, the canal 120 metres away, we're refilling the canal. The next stage for us is to build the walls of the canal and then refill the canal with the opening day of the 27th of March. It's crucial for a number of reasons. We have to upgrade our infrastructure. It's our view that for decades there's not been the uh, investment there should have been, whether it's our roads or our railways or so on. But also at a time when the economy is trying to recover, it means that people have got jobs and they can pay tax rather than receive benefits. So there's a huge economic benefit to making sure we can do as much of these type of works as possible, and that's what we've been trying to do. Travelling public, I guess, um, time, there, there will be a, a time saving for them travelling. Um, we've not uh, put, a, put a number on that as of yet, but um, there'll be additional capacity for travellers. Um, instead of six carriages, there'll be eight, so nine carriages. Um, so, in theory, there's more seats.